Hey, what's up everyone? It's Lauren from Pink Bird Originals and in today's video I'm going to be doing my first project on my new embroidery machine. This is the Happy Japan HCU. I'm very excited about this. And in today's video we are going to be making um, fake chenille patches. Uh, chenille is very popular at the minute. You can see it on a lot of embroidery designs out there, particularly the college kind of varsity look. Um, you can purchase uh, a chenille accessory, which you can actually attach to your embroidery machine, but I've got a feeling those are gonna set you back a couple hundred pounds. So with this quick hack, I'm gonna be showing you how to make the um, effect of chenille for a fraction of the price. So the sort of fluffy patch look is very popular at the minute and I was trying to think of ideas to do for a Valentine's video and this is what I came up with. I thought we could somehow incorporate this into kind of a love heart design and here is what you'll need to create these love heart patches. The love heart patches look like this. I realized I was holding the wrong patch. What you're gonna need for this project is some toweling. I've chosen pink because I like the colour pink and we're going for a bit of a Valentine's Day theme. You'll then need either some cutaway or some tearaway stabiliser. I've gone for tearaway. Then you will need water soluble stabiliser and I've got a large scissors here and a small scissors. The small scissors is more important than the large for cutting out the applique material. Not included in the photo, um, we will also be using white craft felt, which we will be appliquing the towel material onto. I don't know how I forgot to include that, but I did. I was going to include a part of this video which showed how I actually digitized the patch, but I realized the video was getting incredibly long again. So I'll be adding that as a separate video, but just so you know, this design, which I'm digitizing here, will be available to purchase in my shop as a digital download. Um, it'll just be the blank heart with no letters in the middle, but you can add your own letters yourself using your digitizing software, and I'll put the link for that down below too. So I'm cutting a square of water soluble topping and I'm just going to set that aside to give myself more space. I have my embroidery hoop and first of all I'm going to hoop up my base material so I put the stabilizer on the bottom and put in the felt over that. I am removing my hair which seems to get everywhere. And then I am placing the hoop on top and pressing down. The material inside your hoop should always be quite taut. You shouldn't really have any wrinkles or creases, which is why I like to go for felt because it's generally quite a stable material. Then you can see I've already been practicing. Um, I just cut out a square of the towel material ready. Um, this is quite an old towel, so the fluffy bits are quite flat from you know general use. Uh, if you go for a new towel, which I would recommend doing if you're giving it um, as a gift to somebody, then your towel is gonna be like much more plush and you're gonna get that lovely fluffy chenille effect. One thing I really like about this embroidery machine is how quick it is to start up. Like I've turned it on and it makes that little noise and then three, two, one, the screen lights up. And as soon as that button says next, I tap next and the machine's ready to go. It's ready to stitch out. But we're going to be focusing on this screen for a second as I show you how to set up this particular design. I'd already uploaded my design from the USB stick and you can see the machine is asking me to choose color. So I tap onto the colors options. Now I know that I want every one of my colors for the stages of this design to be red. Um, I've just attached a red to needle, needle? needle number two. So I'm going to change needle number two to a red color. So I know that I'm using the correct color. 
And when we were digitizing, you saw how I turned each different part of the applique to different colors. Well, now that has um, created three different parts to the design. So even though we're gonna be stitching them all out in red, like so, I can actually select each color and program in a stop. So now when the uh, machine stitches out that color, it will then stop after it. So I want it to stitch out the outline and then stop. And then when it stops, that's when I'm gonna lie the towel in fabric over it. And then it's going to stitch out the second layer of stitches to hold down that material. I wanted to do that and then I wanted to stop again and then I'm going to cut away the excess material and then yeah then embroider the J and L. So then I press home and I'm just going to position my design at the center of the embroidery hoop. And press home again and uh, now I'm just inserting my hoop onto the embroidery machine. It clicks into place and I press start and it's going to stitch out the first section of the And it's time to place my towel in over the um, outline we've just traced to make sure all of that outline is covered. Um, I don't use any spray adhesive because I find it gums up my needles. So I'm going to press start again. So here's the bit where you now remove the hoop from the machine. And with my small scissors, I am cutting off the excess material from around the edge of the patch. I'm trying to get as close to those zigzag stitches as physically possible without actually cutting into the design. The sharper the scissors you have, the better this works. And now I'm reinserting the embroidery hoop onto the embroidery machine. It clicks in place. And now I'm lying my water soluble stabilizer over the entire top of the heart design. As I was doing this, I realized it looked a little bit unsecure. So I've got a few um, pins and I'm just sliding them in to keep the water soluble stabilizer in place. And now we can stitch out our final part of the design. The reason why I use water soluble stabilizer on top is it prevents the stitches from sinking into the thick toweling material. If you didn't use it, you might have bits of towel poking through the stitches. It's done. I removed the pins first. And even though this is water soluble stabilizer, um, it, you don't need anything wet to put over it. You can just like tear it away from the outside of your design and from the inside of your design. There's no need to wet it. And then I just get a scissors and I tidy up all of those little extra threads. What you might find when you remove the water soluble stabilizer is that the toweling is a little bit flat and you might just have to brush that up with your hands to give it a very plush full effect. After tearing away the stabilizer from the back of the patch, I get my scissors and I just very carefully cut out the design. I was really concentrating on what I was doing at the time of doing this, which is why most of the footage of me cutting out the patch is out of shot. And this is what the finished product looks like. I know it's not a replacement for real chenille, but it's not bad. That's all for today's folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. I can't wait to bring you more content and more projects using this embroidery machine. I'm going to have it for a few weeks before Midwest Machinery take it back. Uh, if you'd like more information on this embroidery machine, you should contact Midwest Machinery uh, in Manchester and maybe mention my videos just so that they know like where you're coming from, how you found out the, about the embroidery machine and it'll help everybody out. If you'd like to see more on how I run my business from home, 
and how I plan on growing my embroidery business, also embroidery machine reviews, then please consider subscribing to my channel. But yeah, like I said, I hope you found this video helpful. Now go forth into the wild and impress your friends, your galantines, your boyfriends, girlfriends with these lovely little uh, fake Janine love heart patches. Bye bye.